Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. The chairman of All India Power Engineers Federation, Shailendra Dubey, urged the Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma to appeal to Prime Minister Narendra Modi to not take the Electricity Amendment Bill 2022 to the Parliament without proper discussions with the engineer of the boarding department. The chairman of the Federation stated this at the General Conference of the MEECL Engineer Association, which was held on Friday in Pinewood Hotel, Shillong. With regards of the decision of the government to install smart meters, Dubey said this will hamper the employment set of the youth who goes around to give away the bill meters or meter readers of every household along with the youths who collect the money of the electric boarding because after the implementation of the bill, all these works will be replaced by the internet facilities. The Meghalaya State Olympic Association, in collaboration with the Office of District Sports Officer of Reboy District and Directorate of Sports and Youth Affairs on Friday, organised a state talent identification programme at Indoor Stadium of NSC in Nongpo. This state talent's identification was implemented by H10 Group. Led by Lan Campbell, former Olympian from Australia, hundreds of youths from Reboy participated in the talent identification programme. President of Meghalaya State Olympic, John F. Karshieng, District Sports Officer of Reboy, Bobby L. Nongbert, and other officials attended the program to inspire the talented youths of the district. Moving on, the prestigious beauty pageant Miss Meghalaya will return after a gap of two years due to the pandemic. This will allow young model aspirants of the state to fight for the title Miss Meghalaya 2022. It will be in the month of September 2022 and through this aspiring young girls can also get training for the Northeast beauty pageant which will be held later this year in Nagaland. The additions for the beauty pageant contest will be held on the 20th August 2022 at the Youth Hostel Lower Lashumia from 10am onwards. All participants Participants must be a citizen of Meghalaya with a minimum height of 5.3 feet below 25 years of age and she should be unmarried. Both the winner and the first runner-up will get a chance to represent Meghalaya in the Miss Northeast 2022 beauty pageant which will be held in Kohima, Nagaland on October 2022. Bodies of the four riders from Assam who had gone missing have been found in Arunachal Pradesh. The four riders belonging to different motorcycle riding clubs were travelling in a car with registration number AS01BP0605 from Naugang to Tawang, Arunachal Pradesh. The car was traced at Jharna Point near Saddle, Nechipu in Balipara, Chardwar, Tawang or BCT Road. They have been missing since the evening of July 18. The riders are Nayan Basumatri, age 30, Hirok Boro, age 32, Bedanta Marbahela, age 30, 34 and Sanjeev Das age 34. Police personnel and a team of 12 NDRF personnel from Bomdila have also reached the spot. Four girls hailing from Bangladesh were rescued from Kamakya railway station on Friday and one person has been detained. As per sources, the person who is suspected to be a trafficker is accused of bringing the girls from Bangladesh under the pretext of providing them jobs and was later trafficked to different parts of the country. An international nexus is suspected to be behind the trafficking of the girls. The girls were brought illegally to India by crossing the border through Tripura and fake Aadhaar cards were also recovered from them. Indian Railways suffered a loss of Rs 259.44 crores due to damage and destruction of its assets due to Agnipath protests across the country. Railway Minister Ashwina Vaishnav informed the Parliament on Friday. As many as 2,132 trains were cancelled between June 15 and June 23. The Minister further informed Parliament in a written reply. Trains were stopped and set on fire at several places following which government property was also damaged and at the same time Railways has incurred a loss of Rs 259.44 crore. Thank you for listening to our podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at infohubnetwork.in. At Thank you. Khubleshibon Mithela.